Hey guys, welcome to Collection TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at Carnival Racers Nigel Gearsley from the new 2016 Disney Pixar Cars Carnival Racers series. And this is from Wave 2 of the series. Um, and yeah. Here we have Nigel, and of course he's from England. Most of you guys know who Nigel Gearsley is. I do plan on reviewing the regular version of Nigel Gearsley sometime later this year, and along with most of the other 2016 re-releases, but this is from the carnival version, I guess you could say, of Nigel. Please watch my review of Carnival Racers Max Schnell to get a better sense of what the Carnival Racers are and how I rate them because this won't be as much of a review as that was on the Carnival Racers line in general. This will be more about just Nigel. On the back we have a very nice description which you can pause and read. Wow, Nigel actually is pretty impressive if you ask me. He's got some nice lime green colors such as his tires and some uh, an accent right there. I believe that's on both sides, yes. And uh, yeah, a cool lime green spoiler. And he also has some new uh, Carnival Racer gear like the uh, number 9. He's got the Carnival Racer logo and the T-Rock logo. And stuff like that looks very uh, looks pretty cool actually here he is compared to the regular Nigel Gearsley now he's actually more of a flat green now I'm not sure if it's for the carnival or if this is just how Mattel is making Nigel now because I believe the ice racer Nigel was also this way um, I forget if the carbon one was I don't think it was so maybe this is just for the carnival thing because most of the racers actually are pretty flat colors for the carnival too my main complaint though with the carnival racers in general is just that I'm not seeing too many differences here I mean the, they changed the number up he's a flat color with some uh, bright colors like the silvery uh, Union Jack there you can see it kind of sparkles as well as these two little lines here but aside from that and the colors other than the colors he's really the same thing as the regular Nigel Gearsley so I'm not telling you guys not to buy this Nigel but I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best die cast but don't get me wrong, Nigel Gearsley is a great car, and I really do love his colors, and he's actually one of my favorite carnival racers in general. I also said that about Max Schnell, but they really are pretty cool. I just don't think that the carnival racers are it, live up to the expectations of most cars diecasts. And to get a sense of how he looks with the other two, or well, with other Carnival Cup racers, here he is with Carnival Cup Carlo Veloso and Max Schnell. Very, very cool. They look very nice together. And I'm definitely still happy to add him to my collection, even though I do wish the Carnival Cup was a little bit better than what it is. But please, tell me your thoughts about the Carnival Cup and the T-Rock Racing Series as well. And maybe, could the T-Rock Racing have anything at all to do with Cars 3? I doubt it, but tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm Henry Motorcoop, and I'll see you next time for another review.